Hey everyone, Anne-Marie from Hello Basque here, and today we are continuing my Basque language lessons like we do every day. Now today's activity is, well, I'm a little nervous. It seems a little intense. It's like also very basic, but it involves me writing sentences. And usually my activities have me translating sentences in Basque to English, and I think I've gotten pretty comfortable with that. Like, if the vocabulary is basic enough, I can kind of understand what's happening. But today's activity is actually asking me to have a prompt in English and translate that into Basque. And this is where I struggle, because like grammar, eh, I'm still not real good with it in Basque. But let's give it a try. But before we do, I did want to say something. I just recently went through some comments on a few of my last videos. I guess I did a video that had me going through different professions, the names of professions in Basque, and I forgot all about it, but I guess I made like an offhand comment in the video about how like all the pictures of the people that went along with the jobs, like they were all white people, and I think I just made a joke about it and moved on. But somebody in the comments really didn't like that. Um, so I just wanted to elaborate on the theme a little bit of like why I'm bothered when I see pictures of only white people in my Basque curriculum. And maybe as the curriculum goes on, like the examples of the people shown might get a little more diverse. But, uh, but I do notice these things at first glance because I feel like the online course that I'm taking, like this is a beginner's introduction to the Basque language, but also in a way it's an introduction to Basque culture, the culture in the Basque country, um, because this curriculum is designed for immigrants in the Basque country to learn Basque. And so I get kind of annoyed when I only see white people in the pictures because it kind of gives the impression that only white people speak Basque. Maybe that's not their intention. Maybe that's just my personal interpretation and other people wouldn't see it that way. But I would hope that, you know, if there's a whole bunch of people giving examples, that at least one of them might be a person of color. Because, I mean, hello, there are immigrants in the Basque country who are learning Basque. There are kids of immigrants who grow up in the Basque country speaking Basque. There are refugees in the Basque country. Like, it's Sure, it is mostly white people in the Basque country, but there are pockets of diversity and there are people of color who speak Basque. So I just wish that would be reflected a little better in the curriculum so that maybe it could give a better representation of the people who speak Basque. Because as an outsider, kind of, you know, of the Basque country, um, looking at these representations, I feel like they're not maybe 100% accurate of the Basque country and the people who speak the Basque language, but like, is it ever going to be 100% accurate? No. I mean, if you've been watching these videos long enough, you know I have a few issues <laughs> with the curriculum. Overall, it's great though, and I just wanted to elaborate that like, guys, like it's not just ethnically like Basque people who speak the Basque language. It's a very small group of people in the world who speak Basque, but um, it's not all just ethnic Basques, which is really cool that other people want to learn this language. Am I right? Okay, let's move on. Let's get into today's lesson. Okay, so there's a lot of explanations on this page. At first glance, it's a little overwhelming, but these are like the building blocks that we need to put together our sentences in Basque. So here we have an example of, I believe, how to put the article on a noun. So the letter A is what you use at the end of a word. So here you have an example. Eche means house. If you make it echea, that's the house. Lagoon is friend, but if you put laguna, a friend. Idasle versus idaslea, the writer. Sucalde, kitchen. Sucaldea, a kitchen. And then if you want to make the noun plural, you add an ak in general. So, echeak is the houses. Lagunak, a friends. I think that's wrong. The friends or just friends. Idasleak, the writers, Sukaldeak, kitchens, the kitchens. And then this right here, Mugagabea, indeterminate. Okay, I don't know grammar, but it looks like this has to do with numbers of items specifically. So here, Eche, remember, is house, and then we have B Eche, B is two. So together it's two houses, B Eche. So it looks like we are dropping all of our articles and the plural, everything, and you just put the number and the noun together. So, Hiru Lagoon, three friends, 
be idasle two writers and then fun thing in basque that i always have to remind myself bat number one comes after the noun even though all the other numbers i think all the other numbers come before the noun so sukal de bat one kitchen specifically versus sukal de a which is like a kitchen more generally all right what about demonstratives this that and that further away how hori hura and then plural these those and oh toshi <laughs> i think that's supposed to mean those further away Howek horiek hayek cool it says there are no genders in basque Nouns are declined depending on their number. Again, there's always this like declension, declining, and they never explain what that means. <laughs> you guys have been very nice in the comments to explain what it means, but I haven't grasped the concept well enough to explain it back in this video. But um, it's a thing that happens in Basque. <laughs> and from what I've gathered, it has to do with like basically all of this, like adding the right article or combination of letters, suffixes, whatever they're called, to kind of your root word in Basque. So here are the full sentences, examples. Echea polita da, the house is pretty. So we already saw verbs for to be in a previous video. So if you've seen that, this makes sense. Eche hori handia da. So here we have three words put together. That house is big. Eche handi horiek garestiak dira. Those big houses are expensive. Oh my gosh, this is getting complicated. <laughs> Bi lagun donostian bisi dira. Two friends live in Donostia. And then lagun polit horiek berichuak dira. Those two friends talk a lot. Okay, this is whew, a lot of information, but let's try it. Okay, translate these sentences. Itsuli esaldiak. We are not from Bilbao. Cool, now we have to do negatives right off the bat. Oh, luckily it's only six sentences, so let's give it a try. We is gu. Are not is esgara. We are not. And then from Bilbao, Bilbon. Gu esgara. No. Sorry, Bilbon means in Bilbao. We want to say from Bilbao. Oh gosh, which is Bilbo Coa, but it's we, so I think it's plural, Bilbo Coac. Is that a thing? Maybe not. Gu es gara Bilbo Coac. Oh, I'm not 100% on this one, but let's try it. Hey, it says I got it right. So we could have said gu es gara Bilbo Coac, which is what I said. Or es gara bilbocoac. Oh, okay, so kind of like in Spanish, we can just drop the pronoun because the verb tells us which pronoun it is based on the conjugation. Okay, good to know going forward. I am not that girl. I mean, am I right, sisters? <laughs> oh, does that translate in Basque? Maybe not. Okay, I am not that girl. Okay, I need. Am not, ni es nice. Oops, ni ex nice. No, ni es nice. Okay, how do we say that girl? So, girl is neshka. And that, let's refer to the chart. I mean, it's here for us. Let's go. That is hori. Okay, and then based on the example, you put, let's see, the demonstrative after the noun. So, let's try neshka. Neshka hori. Nias nice Neshka hori. I don't feel confident about any of these so far. Let's try it. Hey! Or Neshka hori es nice ni. Oh, I've never seen this word order. So you could have said that girl I am not. I've never seen a pronoun as the last word in a sentence before in Basque. Neshka hori es nice ni. Is that common? I feel like you would just say neshka hori es nice. I don't know. It it sounds weird to my ear to have ni at the end of the sentence, but maybe it's a common thing. I just haven't really seen that in my coursework yet. Okay, mungia is not in araba. 
Mungia is a town in Biscaya, and Araba is a totally separate Basque province. So, okay. So we'll start with the subject is Mungia. Mungia is not esda. Okay, now we can say in Araba, not from Araba, in Araba. So Araban. Mungia esda Araban. Oh gosh. Is it <laughs> is it Dago because it's a location? Uh, or is it da because like it's not gonna change? I don't know, but like I my I was gonna put da because like it seems like in all these examples we're using isan, the verb, but but it's a location. Is it dago? I think it's dago. Oh, I don't know. I hate this. Okay, mongia es dago araban. Oof, let's try. It. Oh. I almost fell into the trap, but I caught myself. Okay. Mungia es dago araban. And that was our only option. So, oh, man, I really struggle with that because not that I speak my dad's dialect of Basque, but he doesn't use that verb. So I'm not really used to hearing it as often as just da. And consequently, I, I don't use it as often at home or at all. I don't use it at all at home. Okay, let's let's call a spade a spade. I never use this verb outside of um, my coursework. So, okay. Kadim does not live in Senegal. Okay, we start with Kadim. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but Kadim does not live. Ooh, okay, the verb for live is bisi isan. Um, so it's he, so it would be bisi da, but he does not, so es da bc, in Senegal, Senegalen, I guess, okay, and this is where I get really tripped up with these like more compound verbs, because we have two words in the verb formation, da and bc, and I never know if, I know es da has to go together to make the sentence negative, but I never know if it's kadim es da BC Senegalen, or if it is Kadim Esda Senegalen BC, or does it not really matter? I don't know, but actually, I like the ring of Kadim Esda Senegalen BC, so I'm gonna change that and put BC at the end, see what happens. Okay, so maybe this is why I'm confused because I guess they are interchangeable. Clearly, there's a typo here, but this is what I put Kadim Esda Senegalen BC. But I guess you can also say Kadim es da BC Senegalen. Okay, so maybe I just overthink that one a little bit too much. Okay, they are not from Beasain. They is Hayek, I think. Hayek. Um, es da, no, dira, because it's plural, right? They are not from Beasain. Okay, how do we put the koa on a word that ends in a consonant? Be a sign, is it an echoa? I think echoa. Echoak, because it's plural people. They are not from be a sign. Hayek es dira be a sign echoak. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to guess that they're saying we could also get rid of the pronoun, but let's see. No. Oh, I messed that up. How how do I do this, guys? <laughs> Is it just beasain koak? Do I don't I just assume that you would need like a transition there, but maybe not. You can just put the n and the k together like that. Beasain koak. I guess that's a thing, right? Cuz gastes koa from gastes. That ends in a consonant, right? No. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing wrong? Be a sign from from it is from right so from is ko or koak I don't know so I'm gonna ask for help I'm gonna put lagunsa oh right duh oh I forgot this I forgot this no wonder it seemed weird to put the k and the n together because I forgot that it changes to go duh goa Goa. Okay. I'm glad I asked for help because yes, I have learned that. 
but clearly I haven't practiced it often enough to really solidify it. So, Hayak es dira beasain goak. Oh, that sounds, it feels much better. Yes, that's right. Brought down my score a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, last one. Ooh, two sentences in one. Where are you from? We are from Tudela. Oh gosh, forming questions is not my strong suit. Where are you from? Um, non, okay, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Let me just skip to the next sentence that I, I, I think I can do this one, I'll come back to it. Okay. <laughs> Again, this is like super basic information that I've probably seen in my coursework a million times, but it really stresses me out when I can't remember right away. So let's move on. So we are from Tudela. Gu. Um, Tudela Coac Gara. Tudela Coac Gara. Okay, where are you from? Okay, non is where. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <gasps> Clearly people don't ask me this question very often. I hate to admit it, but I'm gonna phone a friend. I'm gonna ask Google Translate. <laughs> I, I'm totally blanking. Where are you from? Nongwasara. Oh my God, yes, I knew, I knew this. Ah. Well, clearly I don't know it, but I've seen it so many times. Nongwasara. Okay, this makes, okay, I need to, Remember this, this makes sense, right? Because non is where, and goa we just saw is a form of like answering where you're from. So it makes sense, non goa sara, where are you from? Okay, wow, okay. So, <sighs> I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. So non goa sara, gu tu de la coac gara. But then again, is this another trap? I feel like this is another trap because because they're answering in the we form. So is the question in the like you plural form? Where are you guys from? Am I overthinking this? Probably. Nonguasarete? Let's try it. No, I guess, yeah, I overthought that. So they're saying that's wrong. So, okay, just keep it simple. Nonguasara. Is nonguasarete not a thing? Oh God, right when I thought I had it figured out. Gu, it still says it's wrong. Gu, do they not want me to put a pronoun there? Get rid of that. Ah, uh, now the sara is still wrong. So was it sarete? Oh my gosh, this is painful. Oh, right, nongo. Would it be nongoak because it's still multiple people? Wow, okay. There's so many small elements that go into making things grammatically correct. Okay. Oh man, that was a little painful there at the end, but we made it, we made it. It really stressed the importance of paying attention to detail when trying to construct grammatically correct sentences in Basque because really like everything has to match. And it's probably like that for every language, but whew, it's still a struggle of mine. So thank you for following along as I attempted this exercise. If you wanna see more videos about Basque culture, the Basque language, Basque country, in general, please subscribe to the Hellabass YouTube channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.